Welcome back to Camping Adventures. I'm Jim Graham. Sometimes you just got to take a little time to chill. Now, during social distancing, be the easiest time. I put together a fire pit. I've been itching to put it to use. Today's the day. So come along, sit back, get your cup of coffee, and enjoy it. I'm getting ready to get set up. I got everything laid out, ready to roll. So hopefully this will move pretty smoothly and I will be able to enjoy a wonderful meal here in about 45 minutes to an hour. So hang on and here we go. Got a little prep time ahead of me. I've got my pork chops already ready to go, but I need to dice up my veggies. Two peppers, one green, one red, and an onion. So hopefully by the time charcoal's ready, we can get busy. So I'm getting ready to light that charcoal now, so watch this. Oh, first fire in my pit. And where there's smoke, there's charcoal. So we got to love that. Hopefully we'll be going to be eating good here in just a little bit. So while the charcoal is going, I'm going to go ahead and start my prep. Okay, well I've got my pork chops and I've got two cups of rice. So I'm going to set those off to the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and prep my veggies. So uh, just bear with me while I do it. those of you know your way around the kitchen, and I know there's some out there that do, I'm slow as molasses, so don't laugh. The end result is what I'm after. The speed in which it takes place, I, I care less. But this is pork chops and rice, so you take two to three, four to six pork chops, thin ones, thick ones, whatever you want to do. You're going to brown those real good and take them out. Then you're going to add the rice and all the other ingredients. So you're going to add, you know, the onion, you're going to add some garlic. I've got dried minced garlic. I'm going to try that, see if that works uh, in the long haul. Uh, I'd rather have fresh minced, but uh, I didn't have it. Just pulled out of the pantry what I had. Uh, let's see, some sage, salt and pepper. Mix that all together with four and a half to five cups of chicken bouillon. 
Mix that all together. Then lay the pork chops back on top. Cover the uh, cast iron. Throw the coals to the top. And then let that go until that rice is done. Mm-mm-mm. We're eating good in the neighborhood tonight. Again, I'm slow as my, I'm slow as molasses, so I may cut out, come back when it's all prepped, and we'll get this one done first. You could also use whatever meat. I just prefer the pork chops because that's the way it was presented to me by a friend of mine, and I really did enjoy uh, the food. So let me go ahead and uh, I have all the veggies chopped up. My coals are getting ready. So it's time to move on to the next step. Looks like I'm kind of following along with the plan, so let's see how it happens. Well, I love a chimney when I'm starting a fire. Should take but just a few minutes to warm up the cast iron. We're all right. Then yeah, we're getting some warmth in there, so what we're gonna do? We're going to go ahead and brown the meat. Those pork chops. I've got the boneless, but you can use bone in or bone out. To hear that sizzle, you got to warm up your cast iron before you put stuff in. So we're going to brown these real good. Shouldn't take but just a few seconds to really get a good brown on each side. We're going to let it brown a little bit more than that. I want it to... That is starting to smell... smell something good. Now I lightly marinated these in olive oil with a touch of liquid smoke, salt and pepper. And that's all it is. It's very simple. Go real easy on the liquid smoke. Then take but a drop or two in the mixture.
Alrighty. Well, we got a good brown going on there, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. Cover them up for a little bit. It's not going to take long because I'm going to put them right back in as soon as I get the, uh, the vegetables and the rice in. Go ahead and put the broth in. And stir that around. Here come the veggies. And get that stirred around. Get everything. Okay, door. Now, Sprinkle in a little sage. I'm going to sprinkle in a little garlic, minced garlic. Sorry, they were brand new. I had to open them up. some garlic. Let's go ahead and stir all that in. And I can get it all mixed in there good. Alright. Now, pork chops go right back in on top. put the lid on. Now here's where cooking with a cast iron pot is going to make the difference. We're going to have to uh, lift the pot out for a second. So let me grab that. We're going to have to take some coals, move some coals around. So I'm going to go ahead and pull coals out over here and we're going to need just a few on the bottom evenly spread out and the rest of them are going to go on top of the pot and that's the magic of a dutch oven because we can get up to about 325 to 350 degrees with this right here being on the bottom and the rest of that being on the top and that's where the cooking magic takes place. So we're going to set it right down on top. 
Now we got to get all these coals up here on top. So let's do that. Just make sure that they get evenly spread out on the top. Try not to pick up. Can't, can't help but get some dirt, but we don't want it all. You know, it's just a, now as the fire pit gets used and gets cleaned up better, over time we'll have less of that loose dirt. But this is the first firing of this pit, so it's going to take a little, it's going to take a couple more in here to make it worth our while. But we're going to get. I expect y'all get tired of seeing me doing this because this is what I love to do. You got a recipe that you want to share? You want to see me try to do it the old school way? Let me know. And I will give it my best shot. Can't guarantee that I'll pull it off to your, your satisfaction, but if it's a good recipe and I can come anywhere near close, I'll be happy. Alrighty. So now, at this point, we just gonna let it get its cook on. Be back in a minute. Now it's just a sit and wait game. So we just waiting for dinner to do its thing. Got to rush. Sit back, chill. Listen to the birds chirp. Some of the kids in the neighborhood hollering because they can. Uh, but this is my little slice of heaven. Get back here. Chill out. Try to get away from everybody. So, if you don't have a spot like this, you need to find a spot. Create your spot. Make it work for you. Do the things that you want to do learn pick up a new skill I picked up sewing uh, it was pretty interesting I did a hand I did a hand project and I did it by hand and I made a coat uh, by hand about a year ago uh, I had some things come up you know and uh, so videos kind of died off and during that time period I picked up a new hobby I started sewing and then that led to picking up a sewing machine and try to learn how to use one of those and so I made a couple of coats uh, sold a couple nothing big um, but I enjoyed the art of learning a new skill uh, since then I've been able to take that sewing machine to make my own hammock uh, I bought a bunch of hammocks I've got hammocks for days um, but I made my own hammock and that was an interesting because it turned out to be more comfortable than any of the store-bought hammocks I bought. Uh, it came out way cheaper than any hammock I've bought. And I do budget hammocks, right? So I'm constantly looking for the deal, you know, get by on a budget. I'm not going to try to, you know, sell y'all on an idea that you need to spend four, five, six hundred dollars on a hammock when you don't have to. You can find hammocks in the 45 to 65 75 dollar range that are just as suitable and work just as well just turns out the one that i made the turd <laughs> the turd only cost me 25 dollars total so you know and it has a removable bug net the whole nine yards um so pick up a new habit or new hobby figure out something you know if you're sitting around the house and you, you you know, some people love to cook, 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 eat, cook, enjoy, so create, paint, something I haven't done in a few years, and I'm thinking very serious, I'm thinking very seriously about picking up my paint brushes again, and my canvases, um, really enjoy doing that as well, um, so during this time period, while, you know, Things are kind of shut down, and everybody's kind of 
squeaking about this and that, you know, the hell with them. <laughs> Stay away from them. Find your spot. Find your trick. Do your thing. You know, we're all going to get through this. Uh, we're all going to be fine in the long haul. It's just it's going to get ugly before it gets pretty. So pick up new skills that help you get through the ugly. So in a little bit, we're going to be checking on dinner. We're going to be taking another look here in a few. Uh, one thing I want to tell you is when you're you know, cooking in a cast iron pot like this, periodically, every 10 to 15 minutes, you want to pick it up, turn it 90 degrees. Set it back down and turn the lid 90 degrees. That avoids hot spots. So you just kind of move it around on the coals versus reaching in the pot and stirring everything up. Just leave the pot alone, but just just turn the pot and the lid um, and you want to do that every about 10 15 minutes so we'll be doing that here in just a few okay so it's time to turn the pot so like I say pick it up turn it about 90 degrees set her back down make sure she's sitting level she's got a level base boom that works I'm going to have to push a few coals out of the way to get to that lid. But you come in and you turn the lid 15 degrees, you know, uh, 90 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it just to check it because we haven't seen it. But it's doing its thing. It's boiling down. So I'm going to set the lid down for a second. Just make sure we get one good stir. But good googly moogly. That's smelling good. Alright, we got a little mixture going on. Oh, there's part of a... I didn't mean to get that in there. Didn't see it. Inspect your veggies before you put them in. Put the lid on. Level everything back out. I'm kind of heavy on coals on this side, so we're going to move one or two over. We might pick one more up. Okay. Just kind of even them out. You want to keep a constant constant heat, but you saw it boiling, so let's just let, let it do its thing. We'll check back in a minute. Alrighty guys, we're just going to let it sit and chill for a second. I already knocked it all the coals off of it, taking it off the fire, but this is what it's, what it's looking like. Should be some awesome goodness. So we just gonna let it sit and breathe and do its thing and flavor up. But it's gonna be dinner time and I'm not gonna bore you with me eating it because I'm gonna tear it up. So until next time, y'all have a wonderful day. Like I said, find your spot, do your thing, learn something new. Take up your time doing something that you really want to learn how to do. Now's the time. Because those times may uh, come back around where you need those skills. Have a good one. Thank you for watch watching this video.